Yo, what's good to YouTube? It's your boy Black with you three long face, skinny body. Got all the grams to work on our part, and we back on some more fire boards or anime slash manga content. Let's just hop into the business because we ain't got no time to waste, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? Solemnly swear from this moment forward that I will never lose again until the day comes. I will never, never be defeated. Bruh, this shit is fucking goaded. Bro, let me just get that out the way. This shit is so goaded, all right? This shit is goaded. Now, before we get to the review, shouts out to these niggas, you know what I'm saying? I gave away two hoodies, and it's like low-key a little late because y'all niggas been like running my shit up. Not that it's a bad thing. Keep on subscribing, by the way. But for me reaching 300 subscribers, I gave away two free hoodies. It be your own Uchiha. You see the merch, you see the drip. Ayo, bro, go ahead and get that drip because let, let me just tell you right now, if my nigga Ishiki had an opportunity, and if my nigga Sasuke had an opportunity, I guarantee you both of them niggas would be getting a it be your own Uchiha hoodies. So like, you know what I'm saying? Like, don't be fucking lame, bro. But yo, the chapter itself, godly. Everything about that shit, godly, bro. I'm just, it was really one of those calm before the storm chapters because every single page, I'm like, the anxiousness just kept on getting like, bro, why the fuck is it like a whole nother 30 days we gotta wait for the next chapter? So much. You know, fuck all that bullshit aside, bro. This nigga Ishiki casually going like about his day throughout Konoha. And I told y'all niggas was finna happen, bro, right? So that guy from Naruto talking about something like, yo, nigga, like, what are you talking about? Shit ain't sweet over here. Throw some shurikens. And then the smart nigga, like, who actually ended up being the dead nigga, it's always the smart one that dies in the movies for fucking whatever reason. But the smart nigga, like, yo, bro, nigga, Lord Seven just said we do not post to engage this nigga in battle. And of course, this nigga still was like, yo, you know what I'm saying? Fuck it. Off instinct, I guess. But hey, he made his partner pay dearly because now that nigga is in limbo and now this nigga had to answer for ishiki and this nigga ishiki just carried himself in a completely different manner this entire fucking chapter like who is a main villain in a series and walks up into your main like the person you're supposed to be fucking up just like in their territory right who does this and he just casually like yo could you please show me where Kawaki's at? If not, I'm gonna have to kill the civilian next. You know what I'm saying? Like, just like that, bro. That nigga Ishiki got it like that, bro. So he comes across Naruto and I already told y'all, Ishiki has yet to actually realize, well, obviously until this last chapter that just released, that this nigga Naruto is out of his fucking tea kettle pot, right? So he sees this nigga Naruto. He, he's caught off guard just for a little bit. Like, yo, what the fuck is going down? And he, he's, like, he's like, I'm disappointed in this nigga Boro. And that whole little conversation with Naruto and Ishiki, first of all, fire right this nigga naruto he was he was sad he he talked he had to talk he talked to talk right he didn't nah i can't can't just jump the gun because ishiki only kicked this nigga twice this chapter but hey that second kick sent that nigga flying through like mad different buildings for no fucking reason so i can't say naruto did get molly whopped, even though he technically did get molly whopped this chapter i still feel like this nigga naruto was talking shit like he knew like he could have really worked this nigga like he was talking to ishiki like he was a delta or some shit like that like i don't no, he can't be doing all that unless it's just the fact that naruto and sasuke have mentally prepared themselves like all right this nigga ishiki they already had an idea of how strong this nigga jigen was right so they're gonna be like just imagine this nigga ishiki is 100 times stronger and they put that in their brain so i guess you could say they're mentally prepared for whatever type of power output ishiki brings despite the fact that at the end of the day this nigga is flat out stronger than these niggas and he keeps on saying it like bro did y'all not learn y'all fucking lesson bro and like probably my favorite line this whole fucking chapter bro this nigga naruto's like yo we got unfinished business right this nigga ishiki had the audacity to fucking sigh he said all right man if you insist like this nigga wasn't even finna throw a punch he's like bro like bro what are you doing this nigga naruto's like yo take your ass on home this nigga Na ishiki like yo gladly my nigga i will do that just give me kawaki and i'll be on my way bro this nigga got it like that. Let me just say that, right? So I'm excited for chapter 50, and I feel like chapter 50 is really fun to get serious. Now, y'all know, a couple months back, I did, for those of y'all who stuck around, I did, uh, basically, my theory video is a chain of theory videos when Boruto anime first went on hiatus due to, you know, the shit that's going on. But I did, basically, 
the fifth grade shinobi war series and theory videos and one of the videos i focused on was the origins of boruto ice guard now a lot of people in the past couple of days have been anticipating maybe chapter 49 especially after the release of the chapter we see boruto wearing sasuke's old headband again and we already understand boruto's ice guard is there and it looks like he was wearing the same headband because it has a second scratch on the headband in the same direction that boruto's ice guard in so this can be the possibility where you know, maybe this nigga Ishiki definitely does like, you know, he takes a whack at this nigga Boruto's eye because like I said, bro, this nigga Boruto's been using a karma seal. Ishiki's caught off guard. He's like, yo, how much of this nigga Momoshiki's power can Boruto actually use? But little does this nigga Ishiki know that this nigga Boruto's also rocking with Tutu Shiki's eyeball in his right fucking eye. So once this nigga Ishiki sees Tutu Shiki's eyeball, now he's even gonna be like, yo, why the fuck does this nigga got my grandparents dojutsu in his motherfucking eye? You already know this nigga Ishiki got the crazy ass Dharma Will eye or whatever the fuck the official name for the eye will be. But let's not sleep on this nigga Boruto's Jogan, aka Tutu Shiki's original eyeball, right? So the possibility of this nigga Ishiki being surprised by Boruto's eye and then trying to maybe like cut it or slice it or do something like that is very, is very out in the open. And also we can relay back to this nigga Sasuke's words, you know, with his heart to heart with Boruto, which is actually amazing, amazing moment between both of the characters, student and master. This nigga Sasuke's like, bro, like I already know this nigga Naruto don't got the cojones to do it, but I slice your nigga head off. Like if Bubble Shiki take over, bro, I slice your head off. Easy money, you know what I'm saying? That's the job of the fucking master, even though technically that's not. I don't know what this nigga Sasuke was thinking, but hey, that's the type of resolve you need to have based on the current situation that they are in right now. So this nigga Boruto was able to surprise this nigga Ishiki with the common seal. Now I'm waiting. Because Boruto can whip out his Jogan any minute or he can just activate off of maybe intuition or just basically reacting to Ishiki's Otsutsuki chakra or something along those lines. But this nigga Ishiki is going to have to see this nigga's eye. I want this nigga Ishiki to either see one Boruto's eye like his Jogan or be able to talk to this nigga Momoshiki through Boruto's body. One of those two things has to happen. Now... The fact that this nigga Boruto was able to send this nigga to a whole nother dimension, this nigga Ishiki didn't even know where he was at. First of all, give kudos to my nigga Boruto for that. But, bro, chapter 50, Naruto Sasuke versus this nigga Ishiki part 2 is finna get real gritty. Now, I don't know what this nigga Boruto is about to be doing because, like, he already deactivated his karma seal. I don't know how that shit's gonna go about. But, hey, bro, like... I don't know going into the chapter i was on some shit like bro i'm scared one of these niggas is gonna die but then like going throughout the chapter and reading each page like i'm not trying to take away from the type of savagery this nigga ishiki brought to the table because you know what i'm saying fuck the savagery he brought the whole damn table and then brought the savagery as well i'm not taking away from none of that but i still didn't get the feeling of i was scared for naruto and sasuke's life this chapter i got the feeling of yo these niggas is about it about it and it's gonna be a crazy ass fight i can't be the only one who was thinking like that the whole time i got the vibe that the way this nigga sasuke was talking like they understood in their head how strong or how potentially strong this nigga ishiki would be yet in their head they understood that like we still the only ones who could take him down and it's a possible it's not like this nigga sasuke wasn't walking even though technically they both are but he still wasn't walking into a fucking brick wall like a dead end he was walking into like i don't know like like a styrofoam a real thick ass styrofoam wall you know it's possible to get through it but it's going to take a whole lot of motherfucking effort i don't know if that makes sense but it did for me bro i'm so excited for chapter 50 it's a whole lot of shit i gotta break down with just chapter 49 different sections different subsections from you know boruto's whole little sending him and ishiki into this separate dimension that shit was fire right the potential of boruto's eye awakening the potential of the scar coming up next time in chapter 50 the potential and the outcome of this next upcoming fight with naruto and sasuke versus this nigga ishiki bro how do y'all feel about ishiki's entrance upon konoha did it go the way that y'all expected to go or did y'all expect this nigga to turn the village to a pothole like this nigga pain it's your boy black uchiha three long face skinny body god on the ground still working on that part holla at your boy i'ma holla at y'all black uchiha out oh, yes sir hey, can we take a trip to the sky Show them that our limit's too high Fuck up all the hips on the list, 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 list. She said